Yo, DJ, pull that up. Ziak. Did y'all like that? No. Nobody liked it at all. Nobody reacted to it, even a, a scintilla. <laughs> hey, Kyle. What's up? Brought to you by Roback, the best hoodies in the world, the most comfortable, the softest. I'm wearing a Roback hoodie for the second day. Spoiler, I'll probably be wearing one tomorrow, too. Their hoodies are the most are the softest hoodies we own. When paired with the Performance Joggers, it is not possible to have a more comfortable outfit. Their dog logo and two-stripe ridge keeps popping up everywhere we go. We always shout out the uh, the guys that have them, the Robros. They're fresh off a restock of the most comfortable performance joggers on this planet. You're not going to want to miss out. They're functional, versatile, comfortable. These joggers check off every box. So use code YAK on Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off performance hoodies, joggers, and polos with code YAK. Get ready for spring with Yo Roback. So when you eat that many mangoes, does it change the composition of your skin at all? Skin? Yeah. Carrots turn you orange. What? They turn you yellow, right? Oh, the beta caroline. I think so. There are. I think tomatoes turn you orange. You see that man that turned himself blue? No. Like that silver? In a group? silver. Yeah. Yeah. Turn yourself blue. Turn yourself blue. Never saw that. But there was a Scrubs episode where one man was red, and it was because he was eating... No, he was orange because tomatoes turn you red and carrots turn you yellow, and he ate nothing but tomatoes and carrots. Oh, yeah, huh. a, a lesson on palate. I remember one time when I was oh, maybe fifth, fourth, that fifth noise? grade, uh-huh. I ate a whole sleeve of I got a big thing of all cherry lifesavers. They had like the all cherry pack. I ate like five hundred of them in a sitting. Then my pee was red. I thought I got my period. Oh, early. I was real excited. I told my mom I got my period. I didn't. Is that is that a right? moment of excitement? Yeah. No, it's it's extreme embarrassment, right? Should it not be? It's extreme, embar- but also it was like I might I maybe be about to grow tits, which is very oh exciting, yeah that is exciting. Which I didn't. But that harkens back to an old yak episode when we discussed what everything was, whether it was poo or pee. Right. Yeah. The lifesavers are pee. Yeah, lifesavers are pee. Yeah. Because you suck it, it becomes a liquid. You turn it's lifesavers are a liquid. When you chew something, doesn't it become a liquid? No, because it's a sludge. Yeah, sludge, I guess. It's just a, a, a kind of a decomposed solid. But Feidelberg's poop has to be the consistency of like a fruit roll-up. What? F- why? Feidelberg's eating like 60 servings of mangoes a week. Why? He's like hooked on them. He's eating like frozen three, mango. Three like five pound Dehydrated? Bags. Dehydrated, yeah. Huh, I wonder why. They're, the, they're, they're phenomenal fruits. I think it's my favorite fruit. But yeah. I don't think I've ever had a mango itself. I've had mango flavored things, but never the actual fruit. Mango water ice, the best. Mango jello shots, the best. Just, be just a, a straight mango, in my opinion. It's, it's better than the flavor. I think mango's overrated. I no. Think it's too, I think it's like it's a tertiary fruit that gets the limelight of a secondary or, yeah, it's a yeah. tertiary that gets the hot limelight of a secondary. If anything, it gets less limelight than it deserves. No, it's yeah, it's no, it's always in taste wise of flavor. Best. I'll tell you what gets more light than it deserves: lime, because it's actually in the word you just use, limelight, and it's not a great fruit either. Well, lime Lime's is great to be paired. It is the secondary mm-hmm. flavor. Uh, maybe kiwi. I think kiwi and mango both don't get the credit they deserve. Well, I think lemon can be a star flavor or a secondary flavor. I think lemon's a star flavor because it can carry on its own. There's no mango aid. I'll tell you that. Because you can't replicate the like the taste of the actual mango. Well, which grape is, is interesting be- because grape, the fruit, tastes nothing like grape, the flavoring that we accept as grape. Right. Nothing like it. Purple. Right. That's just purple. How'd they get there? How'd they decide that's what grape tastes like? Because it doesn't taste like actual grape. Hey, Sass. What's up? How you doing? Good. I think your mic's off. It is. What's going on, big dog? Nothing. Not a big deal, but why in the fuck are you late? We were doing, we were filled with something. All right. How'd it turn out? Fine. Hell yeah. I'm pumped now. Hey. Good hype, good hype. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I don't really know what we're going to do with it, but we'll see. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. He should okay. be here. I don't know where he went. Be along directly. That'll be fun. What else y'all want to talk about? I was only going to do mangoes today. I've been thinking about plantains a lot lately. Have you guys Mm-mm. really been on my mind? This is day two of plantains being on the prep sheet. <laughs> 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 I 
What's the best type of plantains and why? Sweet, fried, or chips? You guys didn't talk about it yesterday, so I figured. Sure as hell did. No, we didn't. Why would you roll plantains over on the prep sheet if we ignored it? That was a carryover topic. I feel like you guys ignore things a lot, but you just do it because you don't see it. No, I saw. It. saw There's nothing we could talk about. Oh, we don't eat enough plantains. No, I don't. Well, then maybe that's your problem. Is that an insult? Yeah. Yeah, it is. There. Hey, Ron. Ron, what's up? Are you filming something? We were down at the um, what's it called? Did you say what we were doing? He didn't say. Why not? I don't He's know. Very coy about it. Also. Uh, was no, it the, is it the the Trump, Trump thing? Yeah. What was the scenes? A lot of it was really weird, to be honest. Mm. A lot of special needs folks over on the Trump side. Mm. Like someone dropped off a short bus there, and they all just scurried out in American flag uniforms. <laughs> These like n- conservative New Yorkers, or Dude, I don't think like I don't think anyone there lives. I was a tobacco farmer from Connecticut that he's talking about. Okay, uh, there was a couple. There was a handful. If tobacco farms in Connecticut, absolutely. I didn't even know they still had. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought all tobacco farms were in North Carolina yeah. on the road. Mm-hmm. Tobacco leaf's huge. Are they? Yeah. They're big boys, aren't they're, they? They're they're an impressive Massive. field to look at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like they're like four feet tall, I guess, but they're wide. They're wide plants. You get sick even picking them when you're not used to it, right? I don't know. Like touching them, I think. Well, I think they're like, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's like Dune. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I only saw the first hour, bro. Is that how it ends? Yeah. No, it's, it's just the spice. Plant. You get hooked. You get hooked on the spice. <laughs> They're doing a uh, taste test competition. Frank versus Camasta versus Eddie over there. These guys are heavy hitters. What are they heavy. tasting? Um, are there all kinds of things. Sweet snacks, salty snacks, fast food menu items. And they're hitting at a high rate. Would they have to identify the food? Yeah. Who's running it? Why isn't Zaw in it? Yeah, Zaw. Oh. Z- Z- He's the best taster. He's the best taster. He's the best understanding of textures, and mm. he's the best descriptive words. Maybe that's a better word for taster than taster, because he wasn't really a taster. He was just deciding what it was based on how it felt. Your brain can look at anything, and you automatically know how it would feel like on your tongue. No. Yeah. That, that can't. Can I, I think of things I think of how it feel in my hands? Yeah, you can think of how it would feel on your tongue. Is it ever wrong? Never wrong. God, I think you're right. Yeah. I looked at that mic, and then I looked at that camera. Yep, you know. Yeah. Well, these are all things I've tasted before in some capacity. Sure. But I think you can look at something and you can just tell. What? Tasted a camera? You just like gnaw on it with your mouth. I got a calculator. There was this grippy calculator I got for my birthday that uh, (laughs) it wasn't from like my parents. The principal gave it to me. She carried around a basket, but I was gnawing on the grip. It got stuck in my braces. (laughs) I had to go to the orthodontist to get the calculator out of my braces. Oh, Jesus. Was that embarrassing at all? Yeah, pretty embarrassing. That's fucking brutal. Yeah. Were they nice about it, or were they like, we see this all the time? No, they were just like, how'd you how'd you do this one? I was like, it had like a like a grip. It had like a rubber grip on the side, and it was like a perfect texture for a, a quick gnaw. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I never chewed on pen caps, though. Never a pen cap guy. Mm. I had a couple of pens explode in my mouth from chewing on them. Yeah. Terrible. It was always so funny when you'd look over, and its kid's mouth would just be blue. <laughs> yeah. Dark blue. My boy Schilling Rodocker choked on a pen cap. He wasn't. He didn't fuck with you. Hey, did I went to all his parties? <laughs> Are you going to his wedding? He's already married. Somebody named Schilling you know? Rodocker threw a bunch of parties. Yeah, he had the best Sounds parties. Right. Parents are hippies. He had a lot of lizards. Schilling Rodocker. You'd invite the whole class. It was only like a size, a class of twenty. Then the parents would make him invite everyone. Best parties. His backyard had a collapsed mine in the back. Oh. Yeah. What kind of mine? Cobalt. Uh, no. Probably coal? just coal. Yeah. You think there's cobalt in the United States? Shit. Uh. <sighs> what? What is cobalt? Cobalt goes in everything. I was, I was reading a long read on the train yesterday about the mines in South Africa and all the... It happens here in the States, too, but there's, like, mine holes all over West Virginia that oh, yeah. you don't know about because, like, people, like, bootleggers dug them into the sides of the main whatevers and... Anyway, the cobalt miners going crazy. Oh, are these the ones that will collapse on them? And they'll, they're like, dra- I saw on TikTok they were dragging Dragging them out of the holes. Yes, yes. But aren't kids, uh, it's a big kid activity. Kids cobalt love it. Yeah, kids tiny little it. hands. Cobalt goes with everything. We have one million tons of cobalt in the United States. Oh. Okay. 
Some of these guys, though. It's a random. Oh, uh, did you ask if there's any cobalt in the United States? I, I, asked, I asked. I asked. Yeah, I asked. I asked. There's a million tons. Like you freaking knew. I, if you asked me the weight of the earth, I wouldn't have guessed that high. <laughs> there's all this cobalt, but we're going to South Africa to dig it up so we can have smart cars. Bro, let's just go fucking to Idaho. That was a very random collection of states that had cobalt in it. Yeah, it's it was. It? Missouri, Alaska. Yeah. California, Idaho, why. Montana, Oregon, and no. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is mineral rich. Idaho. It sounds like there's a, like a strip right there across the middle of the top of the country. Huh. What with Michigan and, and Oregon? Why and not Ohio if Pennsylvania has it? it? Skips Ohio, yeah. The lake maybe. It's got to be the lake. Probably washes it away. Cobalt's a good ass color. I wanted my room to be cobalt. What color is cobalt? allowed. Blue. blue. Oh, blue. What's the great? What's the only great lake that is entirely in Canada? Superior? Ontario? I think it's Ontario. That would probably make sense. Yeah. But is the word. What do you mean entirely? I thought it was a natural border. I thought that. Oh, there's one lake that's only in Canada, right? What? I think it's either, it's you know, every either, lake border is a U.S. State. It's either Hur- Huron or lake Ontario. Lake Victoria? Might be Ontario. Well, that's not a great lake. No, it's pretty big. Should we have Francis on? Looks like he's lingering. He's lingering. Yeah. He does this. He's not going anywhere. No. Yeah, yeah, he has nowhere to go. Just I just <laughs> saw him eat a salad, so it's not lunch. <laughs> invite him in and then, and then and say no. That face that he no. made. No, no, so no, that's funny. not your role. Walking it's slower than normal, Ellis. Casual stroll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dessert's typically in the main lobby. No, I was going to go through that way. Some dessert. Uh, to the snack closet. What? Snack closet is entirely on that side of the office. Look, some days, <laughs> you know, you just say to yourself, you plug what you need to Who's fucking not plug. You're on the yak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You can usually feel it. Dude, Francis was on a son of a boy dad TikTok and little known unbeknownst to him fully, it went viral and it was all black women lusting after Francis. <laughs> really? It went viral exclusively really? because the black community, <laughs> women, were just going insane over Francis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't you, wh- why? Didn't you say you were going to give up interracial porn? Uh, it implied there's something to give up, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 I see. That Was that what did That's it? probably what I it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, because you'd think that they would not have liked that. No, it's like a, a sacrifice that, that, that means a lot that to you've you. Been it's like what you're giving up for Lent? Is yeah. That what the, yeah, people give up like fucking sweets and like chocolate to. milk, things well, they love. Lent follows Black History <laughs> Month where I go heavy on the interracial. Yeah. You don't even need to go interracial. You could just go straight black. Let's not. Let's taper back. <laughs> I want to get technical. I like to be able to relate to the protagonist. Yeah, that's. So, I was gonna say that's like the most <laughs> racist thing about me is I don't. It's I need a white. Yeah. Dick. No, I need a, a white little dick. white dick. <laughs> I don't even care if it's attached yeah, you to need a, a black white body. No, the white dick can be on a black body. That's fine. You need a white uh, dick. In porn. Yeah. Not in real life. Did you guys already talk about how the uh, thing went? Or are you not talking about? Uh, it? No, we 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 could talk about it. We, yeah, we I mean, barely it touched on it. Uh, it was it was kind of it was just weird. The way that Sass described it was like the freaks came out. It was just like the weirdest people, but it was kind of nice because it's not so, uh, it's not like charged along like racial lines or it's not like the divide isn't something that people even care about. They just care about representing their side. And so it just brought out a lot of people dressed in like diapers and like with their titties out. There was a black lady painted white and she kept on saying, I'm a white woman. And then they they were like, what was happening? Like, she was asking people to smell her diapers. Yeah, it was like it was. It was How was Jack Mack doing? He was he was leading the chants. Jack Mack. He had a, a fucking drum like he was in the Civil War, fucking playing some uh, oh. <laughs> playing some ditties. It sounded good though. Probably Finally got to dust off that Riley Cooper jersey though. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had a Trump forty seven Patriots jersey. No way. <laughs> mm. And we got to stop calling him forty five. Start calling him forty seven. Speak it into a zig. Uh, the Trump side was definitely winning. All the reporters were on the Trump side. They were way more rowdy. They all had cool costumes on. The other side was kind of just like... There were some guys. There was a guy in like a was one. prison outfit and a Trump mask. There were some like really sassy gay, da- gay gay guys that were like holding it down with like whistles and shit like that. But uh, Cowbells. Brandon, you would have loved it over there. A lot of cowbells. Where is it? Uh, it's like the financial district. It's between the mouths of the oh, Brooklyn okay. and Manhattan bridges. Huh. It was interesting, though. 
it wasn't too like it wasn't so crazy, but it it was definitely interesting. It was yeah, it was cool to see. Like the kick off of like a season. It was like the season opener kind of of protests <laughs> and shit like that. I kind of expected there to be like beers and stuff down there. <laughs> I thought we were going to get fucked up. Yeah. So we, that's no fun. Yeah. No. Right. You want to go back after and get fucked I up? Yeah. I would get drilled there. But yeah, that's how it went. Francis, what do you know about cobalt? Cobalt? Isn't that the main mineral that is used in batteries for electric yeah. vehicles? How much do you, how much but there's none there's none in America. How much cobalt do you I know that it's found the big the big deposit of it is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, most of it's yeah. there, but it's crazy how there's none in America, right? Um it, I didn't know that, but yeah. Yeah, and the the Chinese got there. How much first. would you have thought there is in America? Dude, oh my God. How much do you think there is in America? Is there like a joke here? What, what's happening? I thought that there was none in America, and there is 100 trillion tons. One million, million tons. tons. One million tons. That's a lot of cobalt. <laughs> One million tons in the United States. I was like, oh, there's none here? And we could just get it locally. How are much we does the mining it here? What are we doing? How much does the world weigh? Yeah. Tons. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> KB, you said you, you, you would have guessed a million. A million tons? No, I wouldn't have actually. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't you know. Could, what do you weigh? How, how would you weigh the world? I'm sure how there's some tungsten? sort of formula how much that you tungsten could. tungsten is there yeah. on the earth? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is what that? My second guess. How about in pounds, though? Yeah, in kilograms? Yeah, I got to know pounds. What? Uh, so a lot. Look up how many tons. What does that Can mean? Can you spell out the number for me? The I, I think it would just be too big. Just, the number's so big that to, to write it out is you have to use, what is this called? Uh... Exponential notation? Yeah, is that right? I think so. Well, you absolutely know what it is if you said it like that. Uh, lucky guess. Scientific notation. <laughs> yeah. Scientific notation. Oh, scientific. Si- what is it? Go. Scientific notation. Scientific notation. I don't fucking know. I keep my headphones. Don't work. So the black women love Those you. Those headphones don't work. Francis. That's over here. Um, I didn't necessarily know that. You know that uh, black women liked me. I've not. I've not known that. How long ago was the TikTok? Uh, like. Was it a month ago? It was what, what you're giving up for Lent. So it was at the mouth of Lent. I've had one experience of a big group of black women loving ago. me. It was on Halloween in Pittsburgh. I was wearing pink sweatpants, pink sweatshirt, a pink beanie, and a shoe on my head, and I was a chewed piece of gum, and they <laughs> loved it. <laughs> like camera. They were like, you got, they, they brought me, she, one of them brought me over to all their friends, and she was like, you got to see this guy. Damn. Yeah, but that was it. That's what, That was the last time. There's probably been other times. No, I promise you. Uh, Except every day when I walk into Ebony. Yeah, she loves you. Yeah. You walk straight into her? Walk into her. She's generous with her love, though. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. I've decided I'm going to start calling her Ebenezer Splooge. That's fucking good, dude. I don't good. think she's going to like it That's very a- much. <laughs> you think she'll know what uh, who Ebenezer Scrooge is? I think she'll know what Splooge is. Yeah. Splooge, for sure. Mm. Brandon, you got a glitter on your forehead. Uh-oh. Oh, your top Uh-oh. left forehead. The strip club, brother? I think I do. Upper quadrant. You do. It's up above, above your left Over eyebrow. Here? Yeah. The light's not hitting it right now, but it was just hitting it. Where were you? Mm. Just, you know, playing with my now kids. Janks again? No, playing with my kids. I've been getting into it. He's now it. moved on past the yak, and he's down. He's he's, he's taking Glenny balls. Yeah, he's got oh, bigger fries to fry. Yeah. Rap. <clears throat> Francis, you know who this dude Jenks is? No. Jenks has been taking people in the office picking them off one by one, taking them to Knicks games, whining and oh, dining yeah. them, taking them to, like, the second row, sitting underneath the basket, just showing people a good-ass time, mm-hmm. just picking them off. Who's he got so far? Che, Brandon, Glenny Balls. Frank, Stu. Frank, Stu, yeah. Uh, Glenny Ball, yeah. Um, feels like there's a couple more, too. Yeah. But he's been taking a lot. He's a nice guy. If you say it, he'll yeah. take you on one. All you got to do is say the word. It's okay. I don't need to. Okay. That's kind of what I say. Play along one yeah. time, yeah, guys. I'm just, I don't, I'm not that socially motivated. No. I'm too awkward or to Or motivated to go to a basketball game at all. Like, if I went to a game with you guys, I wouldn't feel obligated to talk to you guys. No. I've done that before. I just. Yeah. First date energy. First date energy. If I, did, yeah. if I took you to a game and you didn't say a word to me, <laughs> I'd be troubled. Why? Well, what? Talk all the time. Yeah, but that, I'm not. <laughs> The purpose of bringing you to the game is I think you're going to be a fun person to hang out with for an evening. And then for you to not well, say a single word? That doesn't necessitate right? conversation. You can both enjoy the game in yeah. each other's company. You're hey, saying you high five and stuff. Like cheer when like the team scores together. Get in here, Billy. Billy's, Billy's been stalking He's lingering big time. Billy's been, to come in. He's been stalking sass. Get it off your chest, Billy. 
about Sass. Would you think it's worth it to go down to the arraignment to do a video? Saw your post. Yeah, we were just we were just did a little little something down there, but oh, you fi- guys finish did. it off. Finish because it, it, he's not getting there until like two thirty. Hell yeah, yeah let's go. collab. Sweet. We'll get the morning shift. You get the afternoon shift. Donnie and I were about to just go. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, so if you guys did it, and if we do it, then we can't all get in trouble. We could. We'll collab on it. Well, we're not. You're not gonna get in trouble. Why would you get in trouble? I don't know. Like, why are we at the protest? That's a thing that's happening in New York. It makes sense. We're gonna go cover it. Yeah. 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 I got some hats on my desk. What? I'm just. He's got the hats. You got hats? No, I'm kidding. kidding. No hats. No hats. I'm kidding. You're a fucking dead man if you do this video. (laughs) (laughs) Pack your pack your bags. He's dead. Oh, what if his uh, usurps yours? I hope it does. Probably will. Why? Did you not really? Was there not much going on? We weren't like putting microphones in people's faces. We weren't like we were asking people like, "What do you guys think?" Like if we want to say anything, people were saying like popping off a little bit, but it was uh, we weren't trying to like go like back and forth yeah. with people. It was it wasn't it was a weird environment. It's not it was like the it wasn't really the kind of place that you want to be like making jokes to people. I don't think people were really in there. Like yeah. it wasn't very really, like a yeah. joking. Like, I've I found that with man on the street videos, it, going down to just say like, well, let's see what we find never works, and that you have to go with a very specific mission. Yeah, like an idea. An yeah, you it's know? also a stagnant crowd. I think is really tough for a man on the street. If they're just standing still and you're walking through all of them, like there's not a natural beginning and end. I feel like a flowing crowd always works so much better. I'd actually like to send like five or six groups of two out there to see what we get. A I little almost went this morning. A different perspective. Yeah, like I asked Nick if I should go, and he was okay. like, he so, was like, Rona's yeah. ass already down there, and Nick was like, you should grab, there's like a MAGA hat over there, you should go and get in the crowd and just let Ronan's ass find you, and like <laughs> be surprised that you're there. What the uh, hell? Yeah, wait a minute, is that Kate? That's why I said I wanted to be like, it, it, I was just smiling the whole time because I just didn't want to get caught yeah. in the background yeah. of someone else's <laughs> picture, like looking like I was really thinking about yeah. what someone yeah. was saying. <laughs> like, oh, he makes a good point. Like, bro, also, bro. There's like an overwhelming amount of reporters. That's what I heard. It was so many reporters that that was the main. The reporter, like the, main the reporter to people yeah. ratio is like three. Really? One. Brother, yeah. you were one of them. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh? Yeah. What's stopping Callahan from getting back out there? He's doing the work. Uh, is anything stopping him? He's allowed to keep making shit and I think he's posting he's to YouTube. He's got to work on himself for at least I think it's like six months and then you can yeah, come back totally can fine. Come in some facility yeah. or some shit. Some you gotta pretend for at least right. a little Utility bit. for sex for sex pests. Yeah. Yeah, I don't Brought know. Brought his T-shirt. I thought it was a cool shirt. He might be too famous though to do shit like that. Yeah. yeah. Saw like the good liars down there. Those dudes were all over Twitter. There's just a ton of fucking yeah uh, YouTubers. It's all YouTubers, media personalities, and career protesters. Wahoos, Yahoos. Yahoo's. Yahoo's, I think. Yeah. Yahoo's. Yeah. Not wa- co- Wahoo's. I think Wahoo's would be like, like na- natives. Cleveland Indians were down there. Right, yeah. Right. right. Kyle, you have that jersey with that prominent, that logo prominent. I lost it. Yeah. What? I, I know. That was a Trevor I Bauer know. Indians Chief Wahoo jersey. No. He does. Do- no he doesn't idea. respect. Gifts, especially jersey gifts. I'm not materialistic. What was the one you gave him? Israel which one? Which one? Yeah. yeah. Which one? Uh, I'm, I'm, or or Manu Bowl. I'm not materialistic. I'm just an asshole to well, my you friends. Can wear it. You could just wear the shit. It's I know. I feel material. bad. Yes. Why does that seem like one of those stickers with like the rabbit on it? <laughs> <laughs> remember that brand? You no. Got a, oh, really? You remember Sticker that? Sticker with the rabbit. had like a cartoon rabbit and it was always like, it had like a knife. Yeah, yeah, it was like, uh, yeah. yes, I know it. It was like a big Spencer's gift, had yeah. like none of this rabbit. Yes, I don't know the rabbit. I know what you're talking about, but I thank you. Yeah. Just the tricks rabbit. Mm. I remember Calvin. Yeah, not that ones. one. But it was similar vibe though. No, no, no just it was like the rabbit. Ah, rabbit sticker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that it's one like at all. Oh, Add the word Spencer's to it. My MySpace yeah. top friend for two years was Jack Skellington, and I've never <laughs> seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I haven't seen that movie either. Uh, I, don't I was trying to be it. somebody I wasn't. I don't see it. I was putting up Sublime no lyrics luck. before I listened to Sublime, to be honest. My song was the theme song from Scrubs. Did you even like Scrubs? It was my favorite show at the time. Okay, so the office. So we were talking about our fake stuff, and then you just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just oh, I really thought y'all were being for real. <laughs> no, we're being for real. No, I'm like being for real. Fake. Yeah. Shoehorned. 
Yeah, he shoehorned. That was a shoehorn, Brandon. Jason wasn't shoe-horned. trying to shoehorn. I, I, yeah. I thought he was being real. I am. I've, I had. I, I was, don't think he was fake. You lost in trivia. That's what I'm saying. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not really. He yeah, did. It was a bad format. Didn't you lose by like four points? But it's a bad format because he, uh, he, he there was wagering and he allowed Kirk to wager after he answered the question after he knew the question. It was weird. I used to play hockey. My dad would go and we would tie. My dad would I would be like, well, we didn't lose, so that's good. And he'd be like, what well, did you win? <laughs> I'd be like, no. And he like, then you then you lost. I'd be like, fuck, you're right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now you're sticking at war zone. That was Reese Bobby. Yeah. Was that a is that a shoehorn? <laughs> Where did that come? from? Are you from? just a shoehorn police now? No, because he was saying that I I because he said. Oh, he was lose. saying he didn't lose, but and he I said, but and I said, did well, lose. did you win, Francis? We get to talk to to each other. So these I'll mines have to, I'll have to in keep South score Africa. About who's shoehorning? The people would live in you these mines for like over a year, and then the mafia would send food down to the bottom of the mines. These I, guys would turn gray physically because they wouldn't see sunlight. My favorite, long. my favorite meal at uh, is McDonald's is a fillet of fish. I don't like this anymore. Mm. <laughs> The shoehorn How do they make the filet of fish bun so fucking soft? It's great. It's crazy. Yeah. And then you try to get that bun on other sandwiches, and they won't do the substitution. Well, here's the question. <laughs> Kyle, can I tell them about our content idea, yeah. or do we want to save it? Mm-hmm. So Kyle and I, I want to cut weight like a wrestler. Why? Um, I'm a little unhappy with how I look, and uh, just... You're at a well, first off. You're at a physique where if you lost uh, like a f- decent amount of weight, even five pounds, you would look worse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think you look almost perfect. I think I could get. But w- I want to see. I just want to see how how much you could do. Hmm. Yeah. That. Yeah, I can hold him. You lose like ten pounds. We're gonna have to have Francis Strong bracelets in the bar. I'm saying he right. has to lose at least ten pounds. I want to lose ten. For a t- My in goal a day. is ten in a day. Which is Jesus. very you have doable. Ten pounds to lose, though. No, I think he could do it easily. You have abs? Is that a weird question? <laughs> yeah, I think he does. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you? I, I ten. That ten was it will not be. It will not be easy, yes. yeah. but it will be very yeah. doable. I want to lose ten pounds in a day. I wasn't even. Under the, I didn't even know you could lose weight if you have abs. Like, isn't I that like have. the lowest you can get? No, all those fighters lose ten pounds, and they're all ripped. Man, what's the most a person can lose in a day? What's the most you've seen? Already was this wrestler, Ke- you know the race car driver Kenseth. His brother was an l- elite wrestler, and he did a blog post. It was very interesting, where he lost, I think, sixteen. Oh, shit. Not even a full day. Like he had four hours. What, what? did he do? How did he? Do some it? it's some people are crazy at sweating. Huh. Just like you go in and out of the sauna, yeah. treadmill, sauna. Yeah. Jesus. Do you sweat more when you're in better shape? Yes. Right. I don't know. It's all about how hydrated you are. Yeah. If you're in like peak shape, shape you just sweat from your face and your body remains dry. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just immense. Has anyone ever gotten like super like <laughs> like uh, unwell from that? People have died. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, college that's wrestlers. That's super died. unwell. Yeah. Organ failure. Yeah, that's pretty. That's as unwell as it gets. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad. Cormier didn't make weight at the Olympics, which means he had to get to a point where he physically was about to die. Jesus. It's organ failure, right? It c- shuts down yeah. things like that. Is it just because of the dehydration? It probably sends your body. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know what's stress? going on. Well, we, we thought, you know, uh, it would be fun to try to do something really extreme like that because I'd like to get, you know, looking good for, I don't know, my, my anniversary, um, whatever it may be. And Kyle, who has a lot of experience, agreed to be my my shepherd through the process. I think that'd be awesome. So we're gonna together for a day. We're you're definitely going to do well at it. Yeah, you're definitely because yeah. you're just a driven person. Unless you can. This is pain. I don't know. I don't know this. But but especially if it's gonna make you look good. And this would just be one day over the span of one day. To yeah, you get. I think we get. You know, twenty four hours to try to. To try to lose ten pounds. Well, yeah. What makes it so hard is you've spent weeks, months, days leading up to that already cutting, cutting out water, and then you go into the last day already depleted and dehydrated, and then. But if you are like gonna binge beforehand, it won't. It will. You'll be fine. You know who should do this? Well, then do we need to raise the number? I want it to be, be like challenging. Like a week. 
right? I don't know. I think we should just see how much you can get. Yeah, okay. You should go for 15. 15, it's like 15 dude? I don't know. 10 might be too. I don't, even, I don't even know with your body fat. Weren't you going to do it with me? Yes. But Kyle's going to cut too. No way. What's your body fat? I don't know. Maybe what's yours? No idea. Didn't you say you were glad to never have to do that again? For this, I would. He's gotten. I've. I've. I've planted seeds of body dysmorphia within Kyle. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I sure do. You definitely do. I'm riddled with it. Yeah, if you're like worried, you look. <laughs> oh shitty yeah. Right now. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah you, you were made in a factory. <laughs> yeah. You're like I look like <laughs> shit. I mean, I'm playing it up a little, but I, you know, I, I think it'd be fun to to try to endure what I, I've heard to be one of the hardest things that professional athletes have to do. I think you should go for longer. I think you should try and do it over like a week. Or maybe just play it by ear. Just do it till however like till you get to what well, you want. I think it'd be easier for me to push to an extreme knowing that there was an end, end line. I think if you get too skinny, black women aren't going to like you as much. You think? That's a fact. I've That's heard good. that they like uh, skinny guys with big big hogs. That's probably the secondary thing you said that they like. I don't know if it matters to the body. I think the thickness is a little bit. They like the thickness a little bit. Well, because you. Yeah. Hmm? Brandon gets gawked all the time. Yeah, black women. You? Me, yeah. Is that right? I was coming out of Nick's uh, dad's building one time, and I was just uh, I was just fawned over by black women. Really? Yeah. They were old, too. They were like 60. Huh. What'd they yeah. say? Huh? What'd they say to you? Oh, shit. <laughs> she said. That doesn't sound... Was it in a positive tone? Oh, yeah. I was... I was, I was. was. She went, oh, shit. Like, like that. I'll drink of water, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She groped him. Yeah. And then we fucked. Goosed him. Damn. Yeah, you yeah. crushed her. Damn. Yeah. It's like the realtor's... <laughs> I don't uh, that joke. I can't continue with that joke. Why? Say anything? Huh? They didn't say anything, but I just I, I'm not even comfortable with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because then it's because true. it happened. Yeah. No, it's just I'm just not comfortable with it. I, I what? Well, yeah, it is what it is. I got to find out tomorrow if I'm getting that house. Brandon had 25 year old hot Chicago sister realtors. I said they were between 25 around. and 40, which means 23. I don't. I think they were probably 32, 32 to 35. They were sisters, so they can't be the same age because they're not twins. Now I hope they're not listening. If you're wrong, they are 25. So they don't look like 25. That would be insulting as hell. Yep. Hmm. Where's Big Cat? He's coming back from Houston and uh, Final Four stuff. Cool. Yeah. No. I I usually go to that, but I I didn't go this year. I didn't want to go. You didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it. I saw everybody else there though. I saw. It yeah, it was crazy. Hank. Megan making money was there. Oh yeah, it was awesome. Ev was there. They had a good time. Yeah, Ev there. took my spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I decided not to go. You guys watch the game? Nah. I fell asleep. Wow. Missed sure. it. Forgot about it. I knew UConn was gonna win, so I just like didn't care. I just didn't want it to yeah, be UConn, kind of and I knew it was gonna be UConn, and I just yeah. Did, it wasn't, uh, a, wasn't a great game. Wait, did you get past at uh, Joe Rogan's comedy club? Yep. Oh, I actually had a question. That was cool. Did you get paid a lot of money? I'm about to be, or I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You, Apparently, the like spot pay spot is pay. very high. Yeah. Getting passed means good. It means you're like you can get booked regularly. You're, you're at. You can like your. How was the club? It was good. It was really intimidating. Was I scary. fucking bet. It was not a. Uh, it was different than. Well, anything. what was the scene? What made it intimidating? Um, a lot of heavily armed security. Hmm. Were you there when yeah. Stanhope was there? No, he came a couple days after. Have you ever been? Have you ever got into Paul's Casablanca? <laughs> yes. Is that hard? The club? Yeah. Me- yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a lounge club. It's very alter. Where did where did that question come? Cuz I've gotten in twice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know the the doorman's na- name is Ludwig. He's a he's scary. He's a drummer. He's pretty intimidating. You got to go with a plan. I'm mm-hmm. impressed that you you know that place. Yeah. Who do you go with? Uh for other friends. Huh? Yeah. You got to have the right situation. Right. Go. No, like I go with the right, the right girl. And yeah. the right, you can't have a big group, mm-hmm. small Very inside. Exclusive. One time I, um, oh man, I can't even remember her name. There was a Victoria's Secret yeah. model yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And I danced with her and I didn't know who she was. That's what you get at Casa. And then I found out, uh, someone asked me if I knew who she was. Yeah. And then I found out. And then she knew that I knew and she wouldn't dance oh, with me anymore. Oh, fuck. That's a Wednesday at Casa. She's just yeah, she's you just being nice. That's I don't even know what I said. She could just tell all of a sudden that I knew who she was. I think she liked the fact that I didn't know who she was. <sighs> what kind of dance? Yeah. Just you know, swing dancing. You nothing. You're swing dancing. Dancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like a. It's a place where you go and you goof around a little. 
Huh. Yeah, you get silly. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's TikToks in you... this place. There's lots of TikToks Where about people here? trying to get in. Yeah. Okay. Just like I've never the, heard door, of it. the door guy's like a famous, uh, he's like a me- kind of mean or. So there's, so there's. Yeah, if you look at the reviews, it's so bad because it's all people who got turned down for being ugly, giving it a one star, which is kind of awesome. Paul's Casablanca is cool. They're, Paul's Baby Grand is the other one. And they're both from um, the brother of that actress who was in uh, American Psycho. Paul? No. He's the brother of the- American Psycho 1 or 2. The first. Mm. She's the secretary the who's like, I don't want to get bruised. I've only seen the Mila Kunis one. I didn't even know there was a sequel. Um, it's a second did Brandon one. get in? They're weird. I mean, they 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 look for weird Same, shit. No, if you showed up with one of those elderly black women, then they'd be like, "This is what we want." It might be like that. But if he showed up with two sisters, then I think that would probably years. not be great for him for some yeah. reason. If you buy a house from him, you think they'll like do something hot? No, no, I don't. I, I <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Were helping me find a house. Yeah, so. they will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and they might in the weeds I, buying a might. fancy house. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? They oh, put the house keys between their tits. You have to grab it. <laughs> Francis doesn't have his headphones on, so Roan, you may have to relay because I know you know the context Steven of this. Yeah, KB, you're right. talking right now. There He's was, talking to you. There was a long I'll time put your ago in, they don't in HQ work. two. They don't work. What am I supposed um, to do? Where Francis was accused of hitting on some SI oh, swimsuit models. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh when yeah. 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 Day one. What's his side of that? Yeah. What about that? What about that? He said, "What's your side of that?" Oh, what, that thing that happened with me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the side is what it was. I don't know if there is another side. My, I mean, my my recounting of that, I've I've told that. That was the first week I worked at Barstool. I interviewed three of them, and I thought one of them uh, was, I mean, they were all stunning, but I thought one of them was, I don't know, maybe I thought I, I had, a, had a chance of asking her out. And then I, d- I did kind of, and uh, then her friends that got involved and started making fun of me, and it got back to Dave, and then he blew the whole thing open. You always have a thing, huh? I tend to uh, bring it upon myself. I don't go quietly into that good night. Mm-hmm. That's for the best, though. In there, brother. Yeah, you're in the business. We were talking two days ago that you were good at getting fired, though. You didn't burn any bridges. It was one of your best traits. <laughs> yeah. You you do get fired well. We were talking about that in the context. Oh, no of context. Interviewing for another job, and if I were to interview at another place, one of the first things I would say is that I'm very good when you fire me. <laughs> it's and probably nice of them to like. Yeah, it's like I'm. I take breakups well. They yeah. Can let you down easy. Right. You think a place of employment would look at that as a positive? Like when when it's time to fire this guy, I can be re- I can rest assured that it's going to go well. Yeah, fun. exactly. Yeah. I think that's a good trait to have. Yeah. It's not the worst trait to have. No, a lot of people it wouldn't go well. No, a lot of people would have handled that way worse than you did. Did you go up. in the next day to get your stuff? I think I went in on Monday. It was a Friday, and I went in on Monday, and I went in to yeah get my things. And Pete was here. He was the only one here because it was the Fourth of July weekend. Or like the Fourth of July week, fun weekend. And I was uh, there was they had forgotten to cancel the bagel Monday order, so I ate a lot of the bagels. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, in sadness, and then um, I remember I was sort of gathering things at my desk, and Pete walked over to make sure that I didn't take the laptop home with. Me. <laughs> hey Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. Oh. Snay do. <laughs> <laughs> I texted you when you got fired. Sorry you got fired, but you never answered me, and I, I held that over you for I'm sorry, years. Brandon. Okay. I received a, it was about me. a bit of a deluge that day. It was about me. And I tried to get back to all of them, but... Uh, it was really happen. offered nothing, though. Like, there was no... You I know said, sorry I mean? you got what fired. What was he going to do with that? Accept it. Sorry you got fired. That's not how I talk. That's You're pretty wrong. good. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry you got fired, Francis. We need a foreman down on the worm farm <laughs> <laughs> looking for work. Sorry about your job, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> you should do a uh you should do a video with uh Brandon being the foreman down on his worm farm down in Mississippi. The worm like farm that. that he grew up on. I'd like that. You're just doing videos. Still have the barn. Have you? Yeah. Well yeah, well there used to be two barns. The main worm farm 
worm barn burned down, but the other one is still up. Barns burn down so much, man. They really do. Yeah. Much more than orphanages. You know what? I think I misspoke. It didn't burn down. It fell down over years of age. I think it just fell down. Is and that where they the burned it? It's probably the, the, the hay. The hay comes probably from? sets on fire yeah. easily. Hay burns yeah. easily. What's a, Is hay burn easier than straw? Hay is straw. Isn't hay no, straw? no. Hay is straw. No. So one's for bedding, one's for eating. Yeah. It's two different uses of hay. Nah. No, that's correct. I'm with Nick. Nah. Well, I, but you're nah, both I think wrong. I'm, I'm with There's a difference between hay and straw. Nick. There's not a difference between hay and yeah, straw. Someone read that. I can't. Hay is usually used as livestock fodder, while the straw can be used for bedding. But you're talking about two different uses of the same thing. Wow, exactly what Nick said. So I'm blue collar. Straw is composed <laughs> of a man. I <laughs> grain stalks. Hay is grass. Mm. I'm the king of the south. Wow, with the New Orleans Saints uh, sweatshirt as well. Playing this Checks whole thing, out. didn't you? Checks what are you, what are you talking about? Mm. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about High Noon real quick. Is that cool, Sass? Of course. <laughs> of course, brother. High Noon. Hard Maybe seltzer. Really cool, for man. High Noon right now. I know. Wouldn't it be like, per- oh, man, High Noon, down at the rally. Tuesday. People watching, just loving Let's life. ourselves. Have a High Noon right now. You think? We could. We worked out this morning. Yeah, we walked. We worked out this morning, right, Francis? Did we? I haven't. You haven't worked out yet? No. Yeah. Come on. You're an afternoon workout guy? I am, after work. Whether you're afternoon workout, morning workout, there's always time for a high noon. You could even just do it in the middle of the day, metabolize, and then get to your workout after that. And that's easier to do because it's made with vodka and not malt like the rest of the hard seltzers. Perfect refreshing drink for a hot day like today, only 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. They have full-time flavors like pineapple, black cherry, watermelon, grapefruit, lime, etc., etc., Etc. Mm-hmm. Look for them at Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. When I see somebody drinking a high noon, I give them that nod. Because we know that they get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love high noon. I, um, I remember the first time I saw it on shelves was at a liquor store in the Hamptons. And there was one case of four left, one four pack left. And this liquor store was upcharging it quite a bit. Hmm. And I said, my goodness, is that uh, the the retail price? And she said, we can charge whatever we want for this. It's so popular, it's flying off the shelves. No way. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll take it. And I bought it, and uh, that was out. What was the awesome. price for oh, yeah. four cans? I, I think it was like $34. Ugh. What? Yeah, dude. Jesus. God. I'm not kidding. You're always sparking up conversations. I like yeah. to talk to You'd people. You'd be awful to go to a basketball game with. <laughs> <laughs> talk my ear off. Uh huh. Sherwood. Sherwood Forest. Hmm. That would be brutal. Damn, where in the Hamptons? I think that store was in East Hampton. Are you done with your Hamptons days? Yeah. Because well, you've gone a different direction. Wow. Sure have. Where are you going now? I like the Hudson Valley. Mm. Mm. There was a whole painting movement about the Hudson Valley. Hudson River Valley School. Yeah. They had a very good art academy up there. But it seems like no. a style. You can go to a museum and there's like a Hudson Valley room in yeah. some museums. Can't yeah. do any beach going in the Hudson Valley. Well, well I've gone to the there. beaches, which is real trashy, but I've like slam in it. In the Hudson Valley? Yeah. Up north, there's like parks with actual like sandy beaches yep. in some of the towns up there. And you can go in. I got lakes. I tend not to dunk my head under, but. I don't really like when people say I'm going to the beach and they're, they're going to a lake. I feel like beach connotates ocean. I agree. Or at yeah. least golf. Mm-hmm. Say you're just going to the lake. Yeah. yeah Beach means ocean. It's not a hay straw situation. Yeah. <laughs> it means <laughs> one thing. I feel like beach is sand. If there's sand, it's a beach. If there's rocks. Well, sand at a lake is just, they, they just they, they took the effort to put the sand there. Sand at a beach is, is what I mean, that you're is. You're about to move to Chicago where everybody goes to the beach during the summer. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on a lake. I have a lake house right by the beach. What? By the beach, exactly. Yes, that's see? then you're that's a lake. then that's a, you a can't beach. call that the beach if yeah, you're by your definition. It's my house though. I mean that's yeah. I don't know. I'll be able to say it at my house. But a beach Nobody uh, is arguing with you <laughs> about the possession <laughs> of the <beach>. house. <laughs> the notes the notes that you're going to the ocean. That's a beach. Connotes that you're going the notes to or the connotes ocean. mean the same I think thing. The Great kinda. Lakes, that's a beach. The notes or connotes, fine. I think it's connotes. I think it's... Um, he is right. It is connotes. But the notes... I could twist the notes meaning to where it kind of does the same thing. Correct? 
This is Twist a, it. this is a straw hay kind of situation. Thank you. It's a big time straw hay, dude. I, straw. Should we have said no to them doing that video? Go stop them. I think so. No, <laughs> I think they'll be good. Look, at, I'm a company man. You know I want, I want funny, the best product. You know something funny about Billy, and I've noticed this about uh, this is a thing. So Billy loves to pull me aside and let me know that he's not as stupid as people think. Hmm. Multiple times, he's yeah. Done. He's like, you know, like I went to I went to Williams, like. I mean, it's cool. Here, like, Why does he pull you aside to say that? I don't know. You're a Harvard man. guy. You're yeah. strong. Yeah, I think yeah, they need to Harvard. tell he me pulls that. the rest of us aside. You know who else does this? Is White Sox Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does this constantly. And he actually, there was a video of him and Donnie talking about it. And I think these are things that irk them. Who's the biggest pull aside guy in the company? It's Ben Mintz, right? He's a big pull aside guy. He'll pull you to the side and tell you about. Never gotten pulled aside. He'll you. pre-pull aside. He'll text you and be like, "I'm about to call you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White Sox Dave's a pull aside yeah. guy. Though. I'm trying to think of who I've gotten pulled aside by. Rico's a big pull aside. Really, guy. anybody? Yeah, I don't think I've ever been pulled aside. Francis pulls me aside a good bit. Do I? Yeah. I'm not pulled not aside. I just mm. be like, "Let's chat." No. Yeah. Yeah. What the I like fuck? to catch up. The pull aside guys. This is the the thing that that you really notice about them is that their pull aside voice is much quieter. Hey, and their the way. full side voice. Yeah. Hey, one the more straight thing. on voice. You talk to me real quick. Let's see you Let's know. Talk, talk, talk to the kitchen, huh? They're really letting you in on truth when you when they pull you aside. That's so. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually not stupid. This is privileged <laughs> intel. Yeah. yeah. I went to Williams. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mouthing it out while his shirt's on backwards. <laughs> yeah. It's a button up. <laughs> <laughs> Williams is a good school, though. Spectacular school. Isn't it really hard to get into? Unless, if One of the best the football small thing. liberal arts yeah. colleges in America, for sure. A really small school. It's like 2,000 undergrads. It might not even be that. It might yeah. be Where 1,600. Is it? Uh, in like West or Mass, somewhere in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, I think. Ah, of course. But they're part of the NESCAC with Amherst and Bowdoin and Colby, those schools. Oh, yeah, of okay. course. Wesleyan Good company. Naturally, naturally. Where all the football Nitty. players go from my town, they all go to Williams. Mm. I know Billy's pissed off at you too about you talking shit about him on Call of Duty. <clears throat> You're just making enemies left and right. And I'm you don't next, care bitch. anymore, bro. It's because you don't care. Take it up with Nick. I would never. Fight the final boss. I'd never even <laughs> consider coming at Nick. My brother. Yeah, right. I'd die for Sass. Sass, you have never entertained a beef or a feud or an, even a potential enemy. No. It's I don't think you've ever responded to a chirp. No. I don't. Uh, it, it, uh, I think it's very weird. That that dyna- That's one of the dynamics here that, I, that I, I struggle to understand. Yeah. It's just like getting in like fights with people. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. easy to not. Yeah. It's very yeah. easy. I, I watched you try to think of a Francis? response to, I find to it Bryce hard. Hall. <laughs> I, was just I did try and do that. Trying to think of a response to Bryce Hall for like eight hours. Yeah. And I think I just didn't reply. Right? Yeah, I just never didn't. replied. Yeah. Kyle, who was the boy we were trying to beef with over COVID? Oh, yeah. That was funny. Uh, oh. Jacob Tremblay? Yeah, we wanted to get you a beef with Tremblay. <laughs> yeah. He never responded. Who was the boy you beef with early on? Jacob Sartorius. Oh, oh yeah. that's who I, I was thinking that. of. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. What's he up to these days? Did you lose that know. beef? Yeah, 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 I did. By I did. getting into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Starting it. <laughs> that was so funny. Wait, I what did he respond that. to you? Grown ass man in my DM. Like, what yeah, the yeah. Well, he was, everything he said was right. I'll, pun- I'll, I'll knock your noggin out or something. I'll knock the yeah. knowledge yeah. out your. Yeah. 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 <laughs> knock the knowledge out your noggin? He something got pretty like huge, that. didn't he? Is he jacked now? No. Or am I confusing him with. Uh, uh, yeah, Matt. <laughs> Matty Raps is jacked. Matty P. Raps is jacked as fuck. So is Lip Nicky. athlete, isn't he? I forgot about Matty B. Raps. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. Lip Nicky is, you know, he's on the short side. Yeah. He can develop mass in his chest no, no, area more it, in because his bench press is like three inches. He had he had the Star of David tattooed on his chest, and then he got pecs, and now it looks like the heartogram on a BAM deck. <laughs> 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 it just swelled out. Yeah. Big hearts. Damn. Did you see that video of BAM? Berating his his poor wife in a cafe in California. Yeah, man. Oh man! You saw that, Kate? It's not in the good. Westchester algorithm. I've been tracking him for. Uh, I I used to like blog about him all the time, and then it got too too dark. Bad. I was, he was so hanging out. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. He was hanging out with Elvis Presley's grandson a couple weeks Probably. ago, and they were boozing it up. And then he, I guess, Elvis Presley's grandson gave him a bunch of Elvis's shit, 
And then Priscilla Presley had to be like, that wasn't me that did that. I didn't give him Elvis' shit. Because all the Elvis fans were like, who gave Bam Margera Bam Elvis's, has Elvis's robe? Robe. robe or something like that. It was like a whole big thing. Or like uh, his leather, like evil Knievel suit that yeah. he would sing in. Yeah. I saw uh, Not good. Bam appear on Steve-O's podcast and they addressed why Bam had not been cast in the new Jackass movie. Yeah. And they had wanted him to be in it, but he basically just f- faulted himself out of it. Yeah. And uh, the level of delusion that Bam had made me realize he was pretty gone. Oh, he he like has his own language that he writes called like Scrigoli and he spent years bashing all those guys like yeah. very publicly and then couldn't understand why. Yeah, it's been He also wins, weird. W- wears these like really thin robe jackets. Do you know what I'm talking yes. about? These like thin flowy bathrobe I think jackets. kimonos? Maybe no, it's because it's not silk. You can li- they're literally like see through, and they like sweep behind him like a cape. Yeah, he was tr- he was my first idol. I loved see Bam yeah, so I much. I could definitely see like... I, tr- I thought Bam was his initials, like B A M Margera. So I was trying to go by Nat Terrainy at the time. <laughs> uh, I l- oh God, <laughs> Nat kind of works. He's my first, yeah. But I don't even think Bam's his initials. I think he was just. I think it's just his name. The nickname or just it, his name? He was a child. He used to run through walls, and they called him Bam Bam, like the like the Flintstones character. And then uh, he just shortened it, dropped a Bam. Sad, poor guy. He had a great run, though. You want to dispute that one, dickhead? Brandon, shooting down my facts. I wasn't disputing anything. Mm-hmm. You've been shooting down Nick's facts all day. It's day one. Yeah. His, his facts? You've been shooting them down. Mm-hmm. Uh, d- just because the hay straw thing. That was a one. That was a one-time thing. We had beef over hay straw. We did have beef, but we squashed it. Well, I think that was a bad Google entry. Frankly. Are you in a beef right now with anybody, Brandon? No, I don't think so. I think always I'm in a beef. Right He's now. always in a beef. Mostly always, always in, a in a beef. But I think right now I'm beef? A, I'm beefless. Oh. Oh. That classless piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, say that. No, I'm. I don't think I'm in a beef right now. What's up with the United States of Kids? Uh. Well. We had a really good video for last week, but we couldn't run it. Oh, shit. Because uh, it was me hunting with a kid, and it was determined that a kid kid with a gun so close to the Nashville shooting was going to be a very bad look. So we wanted. That's Francis. The kid trend. That's gonna, I don't, I don't disagree day. with this. I but, mean, like you're always like meeting with like sales and sponsors. None of us like we just put them out. We just put out videos. I didn't. It's not like I was like, hey guys, hot. shouldn't That's we consider thing. this? I that I was told. I mean, what I've what can I do? Never made that decision. So do you think you'll be able to put it out later? Yeah. I think we need to let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for a bit. We need to give it some. You gotta summer. find the perfect hotspot between two school shooters. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> right, it's yeah. always gonna be a school shooter. Not hotspot. The, the low. The low. The low. Oh, sorry. The doldrum. Yeah. What's the What's the great word for the low point? The nadir. Maybe. I think Valley. that's the word. That's the deer is the opposite <laughs> of the <a> zenith. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> These two. <laughs> Just can't stand and I are the same. Oh my god. There's two B W Mark. Oh yeah. Who's that? Who's that? That's Mark. Mark the deer. Upkeep of a mohawk like that is hard. Yeah. Yes, it is. I had to lay on my bed upside down in hairspray. You had it for a couple of years. You had a mohawk? Oh, yeah. Ninth grade. It was Back white. when he was loving on Bam Margera. Yeah. <laughs> Nat Terraney. Yeah, that was Nat. <laughs> that was Nat. That King was Nat. That was, yeah. You have any pictures of it? Uh, yeah. Can we find him? Uh, yeah. You want to shoot him like over to me? I would like to send one. Nope. To see that. Come on. I want to see Come a picture on. of you. I don't have any on my phone. Oh. Oh, I'd love to see what, that. What was it? The spiked one? Yeah, spiked ones were crazy. But dude, wow. my my parents still made me run cross country when I was trying to be like a little punk. So like my cross country pictures, like my mohawk down and <laughs> bad, bad era, awkward time. Yeah, having a floppy mohawk like that is rough. Yeah. I remember when kids would be like, "I'm going to get a mohawk," <laughs> and then they would just have like a what? <laughs> they, they would do. I the mean, best. I agree that I that would be mohawk. rough. I don't. I just can't. Rel- you've seen these floppy mohawks? I remember kids used to be like, "I'm gonna go get a mohawk," and, and then they would get like a down. buzz cut and they wide would just strip. be a wide, wide strip. Yep. Dude, that's a racing stripe. That's yeah. not a mohawk. Yeah. That a guy, a like that guy from that. Glee. Yeah, you want a real mohawk if you have a mohawk. Like, mohawks are cool. Like our boy out there. Yeah, yeah that's a real looks mohawk. Looks like a dinosaur. That's a fucking mohawk, dude. Looks like a fish in Caspian. I'm surprised those aren't canceled yet. I'm surprised that Mohawks? they're not more popular, yeah. honestly. Wasn't that a tribe? It was. Oh. Oh, yeah. The Mohawks? Yeah. Yeah. They all have Mohawks? Probably. Yeah, I guess they so. They might have. 
Who the hell is going to cancel a badass like that? I yeah. know, right? Your own peril. Uh, yeah, go tell him he's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you spent like an hour putting product in your hair. Oh, yeah, dude. Gotta be in the mirror. Satisfying as fuck yeah. to shave that. Yeah. It's just one little line. Right down the... What? It's his main identity. Oh, that's so cool. You guys know that when I was in, uh, I guess, sixth grade, a kid at my school named Bill Bridgman. You're asking us if we know this. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> He, yeah, I heard about this. <laughs> he wore f- he wore fubus to school, and I told him he couldn't do that because they were for us by us, meaning black people. For them by them. And he wasn't. And then he told on me, and I got in trouble. But I was trying to guard against cultural appropriation, at a, and I didn't even know it. You sucked. This was a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a, a very progressive private school. And they took his side. They should have. Do you think? (laughs) 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 Damn. Well, have you ever, I mean, Damon Johns is in this office every other week. Is he ever? Have you ever brought this up to Damon Johns? No, I haven't haven't seen him. I feel like he would appreciate that. I don't think he would. Or you think that he thinks I Republicans think he, buy sneakers too? He wants all the people to buy FUBU that can buy I had product. a FUBU shirt yeah, in middle the Michael school. Jordan. I got it at Marshall's and oh. it said it in glitter. Because I just would have ripped the I off didn't you. know what it meant, <laughs> but I got roasted real mm-hmm. quick. Mm-hmm. It wasn't someone, look, it was like, yeah, I got roasted. What I didn't did it know. say? It said for us, by us? Yeah, well, it, said, it just said FUBU and glitter. I, and I thought that was like so cool because I thought any brand was cool. Yeah, FUBU was cool. It was and, like uh, the colors of Tommy Hilfiger, but with... But it was yeah. also nationwide in stores being sold in states and cities that had almost zero black people. There were no us where I was buying <laughs> my FUBU. Yeah, case in point, cool. we were in Maine. Right. Which yeah. Yeah. the lowest uh, concentrate. It's the least diverse state in the country. Did you get in trouble? Yeah, I did. By who? Oh. Uh, the English teacher, Michelle Latier. And, and she said what? What was she her? Told defense? me that I was being. I, I don't even know. She said that I. It was like I had brought race into it and. That I had done something. I I don't remember exactly how she scolded. I mean, Damon Johns brought race into it. Yes, he did. It I all. just spelled out the, you know, the the name. Yeah. For him, I said I don't think you are meant to be wearing that because uh, the name stands for this. And he. We're got how old? Sixth grade. Yeah. Twelve. Smart. Eleven or twelve. Smart. Uh. Observation. They called it bullying. They called it bullying. I don't think it was bullying. Did you? Was it a pull aside or was it like a? <laughs> hey, hey, come here, man. It might have. Isn't cool. Or did you say it on your podcast? <laughs> what do you know? Back. Yeah. yeah, you did have a podcast in sixth grade. <laughs> sure didn't. What do you think? I did. Us I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think you're us? You're not us. <laughs> We're all. Bottom. I'm not even us. Let him have this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got his ass. What do you think he's up to now? You think he's ashamed of his Fubu shirt? One time, um, the Trump rally. He and I rode the same school bus, and he and I started do playing Magic: The Gathering together on the bus. Nice. Uh, and then I asked him if he wanted to have a play date, and I remember we we used to have early release on Wednesdays, and I went over to his house and we played Magic: The Gathering, and then uh, this girl who was popular found out. And asked me if I for real went to his house. She couldn't believe that I would hang out with him. Damn. And did you, did you lie, lie and say you didn't? No, I I said I did. I had the courage of my convictions at that age. What the hell? My boy Woody got caught playing Yu-Gi-Oh in college by a girl <laughs> that he liked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, say. just on this show, you've called Billy Bridgman a racist and he wasn't popular at all. No, I don't know if I called him a racist. I'm honestly surprised you guys haven't heard about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you guys know about that? <laughs> I did, but I let you do it. Now you, now you do. <laughs> yeah, we'll be telling the story. Up again, we're good. As if it's our own. <laughs> mm. well, what I kind of deck mean. did you use in Magic? Mm. Well, I don't I don't know if I can remember. I it was the brown one on the brown on the back. That's all the cards. Is that all the cards? Yeah. <laughs> then I don't know. Nick, I hate to do this to you, man. Mm. I don't think your socks are matching today. Mm. And this shit has happened to me Sorry. on this show before, too, where I've gotten called I out. I picked up laundry Brandon today. Brandon got me and called me out, and there's I can only pay it forward. I picked up out. my laundry today. This is my sock. 
I've never had this song. <laughs> <laughs> this is some other man's song. <laughs> I yeah. like the mismatch, though. If I didn't know, I would think, like, oh, Nick is just a cool guy who did. You know who'd like that? Mismatches. Bam Margera would like yeah. that. Back I like the, the idea that yeah. somehow someone would drop an apple near Nick, and all of a sudden he'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> and just, like, start <laughs> juggling it like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Tacky sack it. Ew. Turns out it's Messi's sock. <laughs> 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 yeah. I could see it. Damn, but you just put on someone else's side. I was a little skeeved out, but I... I think uh, if they gave me someone else's, I'd get skeeved out. Yeah. I think I would just wear it. I know. I do what he did. Would it get skeeved out? So I called my mom, it's and she picked up real man. quick. I was like, I called my mom this morning if it was okay to wear it. Uh, and I was like, hey, mom. And she was like... It, she picked up real fast, which was odd. <laughs> And then I realized after I asked the question and hung up, it's her birthday today. Oh. <laughs> so I called oh. back. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. You, asked, you asked your mom if it was okay? I was like, is this gross? <laughs> you April fools oh. her when you Dude, called her I, back? No, no. But she already was opening a gift that got to the house from me. Oh. What'd you get her? Nice. Perfume. Oh, wow. What, what kind? Flavor. I get her a perfume uh, every year. Uh, this is the third year in a row. Uh, it's this company called Bond Number no. 9. And they do uh, perfumes for each neighborhood of New York City. So she collects the boxes and bottles. Whoa. This year she got Gramercy. That's cool. very cute. Oh, uh, Greenwich. Well, hold on a second now. Does she go through the whole bottle in a year? Oh, no, no. But oh. uh, she, she likes the, the look of the bottles. Have a little menagerie of New York. What does it take to go through one of those? It depends. Guns. Cologne. I mean, if you just spray the way Jersey Jerry does, it'll go like in a week. He pops yeah. the cap. He shotguns them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just stabs the side with a <laughs> screwdriver. Did you spray this perfume around Jersey Jerry <laughs> to see if his dick shot up? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. no, this place is, has a good rep. They all smell good. So, mm. What's the going rate for a bottle? Pretty expensive. Is it? Yeah. How expensive? How much? Pretty expensive. 400 A little more. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, yeah, hey. Wow. It's my mom. You trying to pipe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's not going to fuck you. <laughs> fucking Oedipus Rex over here. <laughs> like Louis, oh. L Louis uh, perfumes like $400. This is nicer than it's Louis cool, Vuitton. It's a cool company. What the fuck, Nick? It was uh, years Alex Bennett recommended it to me. So I guess two years. Yeah. By the mm. this, maybe three. She probably owns it. Yeah, it's probably her company. Yeah. Damn. Did you get any blowback for supporting the Mean Girls during their tr uh, time in need? No. No? I mean, not really. No. Uh, I had an argument with Kelly about it. Yeah. Or they Kelly got cut short, right? On friends. school scenes? Well, uh, we talked, we argued for probably 25 minutes, and so fundamentally they just, they thought it would be ridiculous to include it all. It wasn't as though... I thought it should have been its own video. Francis and Kelly. She did that thing where... Um, she started accusing me of saying sexist things. The straw woman argument. Yeah, that's... Is that what that is? I don't know. In context Is there this? a term for that? So what I said was... <laughs> what's the... You, when someone cites a very hot button social issue, right? I find... If you're, if you're having an argument with someone... Like, let's say that, Roan, you and I were talking about... Abortion. Uh, oh, gosh, I wouldn't have gone there, but I thought this was like improv. <laughs> no. <laughs> Run with it, boys. Uh, huh. <laughs> did you just do a hanger? Yep. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Podcast listeners. Yes, and Nick. <laughs> no. Um, you know that uh, th when when I find that uh, sometimes I'll be talking to someone about something and then. I, as soon as someone just says, did you really just say that? Or or do you realize how blank that sounds? And invokes a very hot button issue. You just, there's nothing you can do. You can't, because then you have to completely shift to being sort of defending. No, I didn't mean that. And, and then the argument's over. And that's kind of what happened. Yeah, I think that there's almost never such thing as a good faith argument people just want to win the argument and so when they w use a term like that it takes it out of like the the persuasive side and it's just like oh this is like a trick that you use in an argument being like do you really just say this like yeah that's, that's and, uh, and for for to credit kelly uh, what i said was i think i, I she, you know i said well we were arguing about how 
the the clips made barstool women look stupid mm. and i said that couldn't you counteract rather than try to tear what they're doing down couldn't you try to balance out that image by putting out equally Smart. good work and then redefining the image uh, you know i find that for my for me it's like i that works better when i you know when you try to just stay in your lane and then she got mad at me for telling her to stay in her lane she was like do you know how oh. sexist that sounds and i was like well i didn't you said sorry toots I didn't mean it that <laughs> way. Don't you smile more yeah. i was like did i say lane i meant kitchen um, yeah 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 no, women have trouble it's staying so in their lane in a car. <laughs> yeah. But then I got then I got nervous because I didn't, you know. And and to her credit, I mean, I think, I guess I guess maybe that was a sexist thing to say. I don't know, and I certainly didn't mean it that way. But that I just sort of punctured the entire debate and reset it off the rails. Kate, yeah. whose side are you on? Yeah, oh, boy. there's a right answer here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Francis does hate women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, really known. hates women. I don't hate them. Um, I no, just I wish <laughs> they weren't around. <laughs> <laughs> the voting thing irks you, I think, that we can. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just like everybody. I just. Oh no, you gotta I pick. I just do not care. Um, I think I'm so far outside the realm. Of, like, what's happening? Coward. Yeah, coward. I'm a coward. Is what it is. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. You're entitled to to do that. Yeah. You don't have to pick a side. Yeah. Yeah, but you fucking should. <laughs> whoever can benefit me most at the time, uh, I'll probably side with. Who would that be? Whoever's on a hot street. Just, yeah, who you're who you're around. Right. Wait, can I ask this question? So, this is exactly what, I, in my opinion, just happened with Dave and the Reese and the uh, thing, where I didn't ding? Uh, the the tweet the tweet situation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you know I. Pff, I mean, I saw that and I thought, well, that's funny. He's got a hot take or whatever. And then everyone started bringing race into it. And it just completely changes the meaning and the DNA of of his intention. And he can't even he can't even defend what he's said anymore because now he has to take on a completely different attack. And you can't even go on Tucker Carlson to defend him anymore. <laughs> Bingo. <It's> fucking brutal. <laughs> Tucker told me uh, I should stop uh, listening to what don't uh, don't let my wife dictate my life. That's bad advice. He told me that. He told you that in, uh, pro like personally? We got a little birdie tell him that. He told someone to tell me that. <laughs> and I thought it was a joke. And I said LOL. And then the guy was like he's not kidding. Ah. Oh definitely not. Yeah. So he doesn't go happy. He thinks wife, you're happy a good life. man deep down. Yeah. You th <laughs> thinks your values are right, your roots are right. You got the woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've met Tucker Carlson. Leading you astray. Poisoning your th poisoning the well. Where's a down thoughts. vest in Florida? That oh. struck me as odd. North Florida. Can he's be. sneaky fat. No, it's a fat move. I don't think so. I think he. I don't know. Vest. Panhandle. Are there any drag crazy? queens named tu named Tucker? That's a good. It's got drag be. name. Yeah. Yeah. Or Ron DeSantis. Tucker, I get it. He, he, Tuck. You don't have to tell me when you get it. No, that there's was like a whole, whole thing. There's like I'm going to start doing that every time it. now. You do anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> what did you say, Saz? Have you guys seen this documentary about like, <laughs> all the closeted uh, gay dudes who are politicians voting yes, against? Yes, outrage. Did it, was it good? It, it's hard. It's <laughs> nuts. I'm going to watch it. Because it, Spoilers, it, please. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you just bring it up then? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You Tell me everything you know about <laughs> it. But <I'm> <laughs> There's <laughs> obviously no spoilers. It's a documentary. It happened. I think you could you could spoil. The Alpinist, that's a spoilable documentary. Or the Jinx. What about the cycling one? All right, I'm wrong. Francis, what happened in the documentary? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I just, what, what, has anyone else seen that? No, on my list. Outrage? <laughs> He uh, outs so many politicians that I started to lose belief. It it lost credibility. Carthyism. Yeah. yeah. Is there is there proof that of the ones he outed that are some some and then there were others that I thought it was a little sure? tenuous. Wanting uh, to be a politician is kind of gay. Hundred like, percent. It's like running f is like a pageant. Yeah. You know you have to dress up, give a speech. Mm -hmm. The the guy's mission is to out politicians that have voting records against gay rights and then i think he started 
targeting other politicians that didn't even necessarily have that. Yeah. Charlie Chris was one of them. Christ, the former governor of Florida. Democrat, right? Yeah. I think he flipped sides, though. Yeah. Oh. He did. And he's one he was very, you know, they spent a lot of time on him. And I'd be at like a Doubting Thomas, though. I would need to see the penis in the butt. Yeah, I need receipts. It's yeah, got to be penis in the mouth. I need to see the blood. penis in the mouth. He's got phone calls, recorded phone calls. Of enough for me. Guys, trying to hire male. I'm not on the other end of the spectrum. I always believe it and think it's going on more, vastly more than we. Think. No matter what you think. Yeah, if there's a rumor, I believe it's. I think it's true. If it's all coming from the same guy, I find it harder to believe. There's even it. suspicion. There's probably something there. Yeah, yeah where there's smoke, this? there's fire. If anybody, yeah. I just like that Madison Cawthorn guy saying that he went on that podcast and was like, oh, it's a freak a leak show. They're doing key parties every weekend in D.C. Everybody's – this is a horny town. They're just mm. all doing – everybody's putting everything in everyone's holes. I, I am naive about yeah. orgies and sex yeah. parties. Yeah. yeah. Way Apparently more than common. Me too. So? I'm too awkward of a person, I think, to be able to handle something like that. I've never even, like, known – about them or invited or there's probably people you know that are doing them yeah yeah you think you're just like what? oh yeah you get anyone here yeah I had marine yes. buddies that did that would go to like the clubs in san diego like the sex clubs who would be the most yeah. likely here i guess it's probably a weird question to answer but yeah. who i feel like someone here i feel like there's definitely someone here would openly talk someone who that. squats a lot <laughs> Wimmer. <laughs> joey has yeah who squats the, a lot smutledge yeah i could see i i could see him i could see him who was the person that? Oh, Playboy Marty. Could see him. See him. Yeah, because he was fucking. <laughs> All these guys that squat squats, a lot. Right? I mean, Francis probably definitely has a good squat. No, not anymore. No? no, there you have it. I don't really do that anymore. I don't or squat Billy. anymore. Billy? No, Billy would never go to an orgy. <laughs> guys, <laughs> what? <laughs> Start pulling people aside. Yeah. Look, I, I'm not. What the I'm heck, not guys? A group sex guy. I'm not actually as horny as everyone thinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dick not actually as hard as we, hard we, as we really made sure that we didn't have sex too much. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody just got real quiet when Jeff St- Jeff Nadeau walked out. Mm-hmm. It's funny that Jeffrey Star and Frank both used that bathroom in the span of like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a legendary moment. What do you think that is? Is that a sweet? Is that a cake? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, sweet treat. Yeah. Well, now it's, Pat's flipping it upside down, so I hope it's not. It's carrying it like a, a briefcase. Oh, willy-nilly. It's probably a, yeah, some T-shirts, Shoes. maybe a merch package. They have some big guests. We never even had the option to ask for Jeffrey. Oh. Yeah. After Field Dick's gay, I feel like you guys lost a lot of privilege. We've, ne- we've never gotten a guest. You be Field Dick's gay was quite the scandal. You guys got biz. We couldn't get him. We yeah. barely got him. He kept on trying to leave. He was trying to bail. We got his ass though, okay. but it's hard to get people. Hard to get people. Oh, We've tried. The next pod room. Freaking they're doing. Sh- they're doing the car wash. Car, wa- car wash season. They're doing another podcast. I what think. podcast is that? I don't know. Who probably else? probably seen. one of these. No, she's upstairs. Oh, Plan Bree. No, she's upstairs. That's right. The studio's upstairs. BFFs maybe. Ooh, I bet. Oh. Or bussin'. No, oh, I think I've I've got it because the producers are giving me a thumbs up. Did she just do bus? Or just did he just he do bus? Just did bus. Yeah. We just they, they, them. Fuck. J S. J S. God damn it. A lot of followers. Yeah, legendary. Just banging NFL players. None of us can say that. Oh. He's in an AFI music video too. AFI was my second top friend. None of us can say that. Mm-hmm. Through my thing. Can I tell you guys about the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports? Yeah. Yes, please. Go back to the. Yeah. I'm trying to go if I do this fast. Six or Celtics. Back to the orgy stuff. I think the question is, did I tell you guys about it? Oh. Hello. Hello. I said, can I tell you about it? I heard that. Why are you correcting everything that I say now just because we had one thing where I said wrong? Smarter guy than you, Brandon. He's He went to Harvard. To assert my mental superiority. Get in there, Brandon. Created by fans. For Even fans. after you lost at trivia, just getting smacked around by Francis, losing in trivia. Francis isn't even good at trivia. Not even. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals for tickets to sports, concerts, and shows that guarantee the lowest price. NBA season is winding down. NHL season is winding down. But the playoffs will be heating up very, very soon. You'll probably want to go. Game Time has cracked the code of getting you the best price on last-minute tickets. Uh, just fantastic 
deals that Game Time offers you. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. The purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. Why are you shaking? <laughs> Is there a rhythm to what I was saying? No, it's just sort of moving around a little. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website. Enter your email. Redeem code YAK, Y-A-K, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. How do you guys sign off your emails? I don't Thanks. Really. Do a dash I'm a K. Brandon. I want to do dash N. That's what I want to start doing. <laughs> no. I, I, I just do, yeah, just F. Is you do just F, no dash? Do, sometimes I'll do just F. Power move. That's cool. Yep. KB? I don't believe you. Kurt. Thanks, Kyle. I do it sometimes. It'd be Kurt. Okay, what are you doing? Come on. Jay's doing some wild shit. Jay, what are you doing back there? Inspirational quote at the bottom. Hey. No. Open. Someone... Sent me a picture of a patio thing. I'd look at. How do you sign off your emails? Steve, Stephen, Stephen Che, whatever. You use all three. Yeah. Good stuff. Call my name. Are you caught up on Love Is Blind? Yes. What? I gotta get on. This that. shit is insane. Yes. I I should start. You have to. <laughs> I think this season is, if I'm being honest, the <laughs> least attractive cast. But this is probably the best yeah. season. Oh my! When they see each other for the first time, they see each other for the first time, and they're instantly engaged and have to get married in thirty days. And this one couple, the girl just was disgusted by him. Yes, oh. I think. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was the, the most painful oh. watch oh. of all time. Yeah. Was it? A, I've been reading everything about this arena woman. That yeah. That's her. her. Okay. Oh yeah, God. Yeah, she's like. Well, they, they shouldn't. They, they shouldn't allow people ugly? that are like twenty-five or twenty-six on the show from. The she's Wait, ugly. So she had like an emotional connection with him, but then when she saw yes. him, she was like gross. Oh, it was so awkward. Gross. Oh, oh she. Oh, but no, she wouldn't let him kiss her. She said, "You look like a cartoon <gasps> character." Oh God. No. Um, and they had to go on a honeymoon. And prepare for their wedding, and she like wait. They even... agreed to get married. That's, That's how, how the show works. works. So like all of the couples, you could tell they have zero chemistry once they meet, besides like one. Oof. And it's just so awkward. It's a great show. Are any of these couples still married from previous seasons? Yes. Really? Yes. That's shocking. Lauren and Cameron, I believe. Oh. But only one. Uh, there might be more. How do you land on the person you couple up with? How does that you work? Get, it's like speed dating where it's like 15 people, 15 okay. men, 15 women, and they're all in quarters, and then Dude. they have dates with each other, presumably an hour for the first time. And then I think what they do is they rank who they want, and if anyone's X'd out, then they free up more time in their day to spend time with the other people. And then it's a 10-day experiment. <sighs> and by the end, you basically get out of the pods by proposing. So what they've really done is devalued the proposal. And the marriage, because a lot of these things go to the altar, which they've agreed to do, but then yeah. fall apart before yeah. then, or like they know it's not going to work or whatever. So yeah, it's it's awesome. They it's crazy to think that tw uh, if there are fifteen men and fifteen <laughs> women, that they're all going to have someone compatible. No, it's only no. like there's only five couples five. that make it out. Oh really? Oh, yeah. you can quit and be like, yeah, there's no one for me. I'm done. Yeah, I don't know. How, what happens with the other ones? I think you stay the whole time. I think it's agreed that you stay the whole 10 days, but if you eliminate enough people and they've eliminated you, I think you just kind of chill. Okay. And it's Oof. very interesting because what I like that they've done this season as opposed to other seasons is they show, like, the heartbreak. So, like, two guys were going These out guys the are same. Division I oh. cornballs. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Two guys Crying. The they're same. writing songs. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Doing guitar, like, freestyles. He's not that bad looking. <laughs> I know. So Zach, yeah, he's oh, not I'm compared to the other them? seasons. Yes, oh. she, she's disgusted by him, and he's trying his hardest. Oh. And he was like in between two women, and he chose her. He's, he is creepy. He doesn't blink. He looks like that televangelist, the really famous. Marina one. and oh, Zach shit. is who we're looking at. I would love you guys I to R watch. I and Zach. Ooh. Yeah. That's great. So they've they've um, staggered the releases. So the first five episodes came out yes. like two weeks ago. And three episodes just came out last Friday, and then I think the final four or five are coming out this Friday. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It's a pretty standard-looking guy. I think they're both very average-looking people. Yeah. I don't yeah. think she's in a position to be like he's ugly. I would say he's more attractive. He ranks higher on the man scale of attractiveness than she does on yeah. the. I think they're pretty equal. I'm just saying, like the whole cast is they've had some like. She's got a lot of cheek, man. Incredible, yeah. like. 
How much cheek Gorgeous she and very handsome men and women. Yeah. This season, well, I feel like, is a little bit lower. Yeah. Hmm. Is that wrong? Is that not? What's up? You shouldn't have fucking said that, man. Yeah, you would say that, Francis. Is that something mm. believable? You don't say? You really had to go there. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, Classic. man. Sass, you uh, are going through a pretty big portal soon. What do you mean? The transfer? No, oh, bro, he's... He's he's leaving the world of being a 21 year old. Oh well, yeah, tomorrow, right? Yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah, birthdays don't matter anymore. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not really a big birthday person. We always Are talk you doing about anything? Not, 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 just right. Are you Brandon. doing anything for your birthday? Or? No. But shows. Oh. Like Ronan and I are gonna get blitzed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna get blitzed. Oh yeah. We're getting blind drunk tomorrow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Francis, you'll be there. We're gonna I, get you I'm ready. Drunk too. I'm ready to get fucked. I asked him to get blitz with us. Oh, really? He did. He hit really me yeah. up. I said, let's do it. Nice. You're going to get fucked? Mm-hmm. He invited the realtors. <laughs> oh, game over. Jealous, it's Brandon? A party. I'm about to go banana pudding. <laughs> Davey, you're going to come? Lights I would out. go, yeah. yeah. I'm where? We're just going to end up somewhere. You don't even know? Oh, so I'm not invited. You have a Sorry spot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just somewhere. I can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're kind of supposed <laughs> to be planning everything as the best man. As my best fucking friend. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I got it. I had a birthday oh, no. about a week ago, and it, it, it was so uneventful <laughs> and so unnoticed that uh, I just thought it's over. Wanna, can You want to join up? Hmm. Let's do it. Do a c- yeah. Shared birthday. Yeah, it's both of our birthdays. No, it's your day. It's not. It's, it's literally your birthday. For you to attack his birthday onto your birthday day, it's not even halfway in between like President's Day. Like it's on your birthday. Let's do it right. Let's do it today. <laughs> share both birthday, birthday today. today. Yeah. Let's do case race starting right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get fucked up right now. Let's drink that whole fridge of high yeah. Are we doing a case race? Probably step out. I already, I already worked. We already worked out today. I already worked out. KB, I know you worked out this morning. Yeah. What'd you do? Legs, but not squats, because someone was in this. I timed this person. They were in the squat rack for are they curling? 46 minutes. They were still there when I left. The curling in the they squat rack? They got to a point where it was just about principle. There was other squat racks open, but I, I these people, they just sit on their phone for 10 minutes in between sets. Yeah, he's I want to say something. Inviting all the people to his orgy. Yeah. Definitely was with his Maybe that's what ass. Birthday. If there were other squat racks on Oh, fuck emerging. each other? Yeah. <laughs> this person was, uh, it was all about this, the person in my view. Like, uh. 46 minutes. What kind of numbers were they putting up? Were they squatting a this considerable guy, he, just, he was amount? just chilling on his phone. He had no muscle mass. Uh, I mean, I think that's, that's what bothered you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah Come that on, be, man. But he's he, trying, you're man. Ta- no, he's, he's not because he's taking 10 minutes in between sets. He doesn't care. You should be like, hey, man, just letting you know. You're waiting too long. Can't do that. Hey, That's what B. keeps me out of the gym. I'm so paranoid that guys, people are guys looking like at Kyle. Me. Yes. I'm waiting, and I, I, I know is going to kill you. Yeah. For this. Pacing I don't behind know the him. I I don't know. And when I take a break between sets, I only have gone once since I joined this gym. But I was like in my head that other people were noticing. Like, am I taking too long of a break? Too short of a break? And I was like letting people know. Like, you, I wiped it down in between each time I got on it. I don't know. It's too. It's too much. You ever have someone work in? Deal with it. What if I work in, bro? Yeah. You ever no, had, oh, you're in between. I don't like Never it. Never had that? No, I have. Oh, you have? I, I just don't I don't like it. It's the most annoying thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I work in, and then they then they take the weight yeah. up and they put it up fucking 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then they like, sometimes they just won't yeah. fix it, so then you got to fix it. That's just, you're just talking about a pin that you could put in and take do, out. Imagine if you're taking like weights wait, off of a no, bar. I've had to do, do that. That's fucking crazy. I probably had people, at, oh, back in my gym days, Um, I had a... I had people work in like three times, and there was one dude who was blatantly like, he, it was like me and him. This was when I was in college, and he was like huge, and he was like nuts to the point that people had to be like, yo, you got to chill out, dude. You're being weird. And he was like following me around. He'd be like, cool, if I work in and then just do it and like bringing over other weights and like lifting heavier than me. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. He was following you to each. Dude, he worked in three times in one in one workout. Yeah, like different things. <laughs> That's weird. Like That's I was weird. doing, like I was doing, like uh, you know, like the restricted curl thing, where it's like the there's like the thing that you put your arms on, and then you do curls. Yeah, of course. I was doing that, of course. I had like a fifty pound thing, and he was like, "Do you care if I work in?" 
And I was like, sure. And he takes it off and grabs the 70 pound one and puts it on. And he wasn't even doing any biceps that day. So he's just like blatantly being like, I'm going to lift more than this kid. I was like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Did you say? Try, did we're you all say just trying to be the best we can. Probably very nice to him and respectful. Me? Hey? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Brandon, is your new house going to have a gym? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. In the basement. Well, it's across from the basement. Wait, what do you know? Across that? from the basement? Awesome. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a base side. There's a basement. And there's a little room where the stairs are, and then there's a second room that's a gym. So the basement. Huh. The basement proper that has the big the big space, and then the smaller space in the basement is the gym. Under is it an unfinished basement? No, it's finished. <laughs> Next uh, to the furnace. Uh, no, 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 no. What's the best uh, amenity of the house? Best feature. Um. If you said it, it would give the house, house away. Because mm-hmm. there's something about this house that I hope to get invited a lot. It's. Yeah. Awesome. Multiple cool. sunrooms. That's why you want to get involved. No, no. I can't no, say it because it would give it away. I can't say what it actually is, yeah. But it uh, is. What is it? Swimming pool. Whisper it. Turn your mic I just whisper it. It's got to be a swimming pond. pond. It's got to be some sort of pool. Hold on. It's got to be, yeah, it has to be some sort of Body of water. Float in. I've showed you the house. Be like a Door ball pool. Pit. Is it Outdoor a ball pit? pit? I don't remember. Ball, ball pit? It's definitely a ball pit, isn't it? It's definitely a ball pit. Ball pit. fucking jealous. ball pit, yeah. It's an above ground, though. Oh, in the backyard. <laughs> the climbing <laughs> the ball pits. <laughs> the bouncy uh, castle. Oh. What are you looking at? I think Kate texted us. It was just a picture you sent. That was it. it oh, yeah. You didn't send me the link. Whoa, okay. What she sent? Yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't. I don't even have my phone. A well, life-size statue of you okay. doing the high Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did you do that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, fuck, Brandon. Yeah. Okay, you could have texted the words that. You could have texted. Yeah, you didn't. Have to. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Very. What <laughs> did was read it. <laughs> Very interesting choice there. That was really weird thing to do, wasn't wow, it? Wow, that is fun. That sent was a, Kate instead of just it, it is one, two, three, four, <laughs> five words combined, and Kate sent a picture of herself with text on it, saying the words with a, a <laughs> yeah, speech bubble. With a speech bubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking so freak shit. Effort. That's freak shit. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> I, I don't know why I did this. that. That was, that was weird. I saw it. That was a weird thing to do. That is insane. That's a that psychopath. Was, that was, that was Communicates weird. in memes. No. <laughs> memed the news, everyone. Uh, uh, okay. That's uh, outrageous. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. Um, Booze, you want to bring up our wheel? Ooh, so yeah. we can camp. We're going to camp. Is that Booze? It might not be. That booze. would be. It's Booze. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? You're trying to get out of here? So no, I, I, I just thought, oh, wow, he spun the guy down. I want Name Wheel Ice Cream Sunday Party so bad. All right. <gasps> okay, so, we got a name so far, so good. <sighs> I was just going to have the wheel up for whenever we wanted to do it, but Booze decided it was time to go ahead and do it. But that's fine. Do you know how to do the Name Wheel, Booze? I don't know if you've, you've gotten I this. I think so. Okay. Fr- does Francis, do you have a wheel you'd like to have? Yeah, I think he has a wheel. I think Francis does have a wheel. Oh. I don't think so. You want a wheel? Need one if you're gonna be if, if you're gonna yeah, be in the show. In the you room. Your name needs to go on the name wheel. I'm not really on here that often anymore. Yeah, you're but on you're on once. You are. You're on. Enough. I would say you're you're probably top like five most appearances. Top three. Yeah. Top three. Wait, hey, number you're not uh, three. Number two. Maybe What's you're the here a lot. Like Twitter Thursday will Friday. tell us. Yeah. Who is the? I guess it'd have to be Frank, wouldn't it? Frank would still have it. Yeah, Frank. Would uh, have we it. call Mince a good bit. Yeah. A lot of people want Frank uh, Frank Thursdays back. They, like, they want like once a month Frank Thursday. Yeah, it'll be Just back. Bringing it up, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Are are more? I feel like every day more people are going to Chicago. So Big T's now going. Is Dave him. Potnoy going? Potnoy might be going. Big T's going. Big T's going. T's, well, I, I, I hope he. I, maybe he hasn't announced that. I think he. Yeah, you're just Darren Everyone Waller. Everyone big announcement. He might not have announced. Yeah. He told me this morning. I'm sorry. I hope he has. has There's someone else that I was thinking of that I don't think announced it that I was going to say, but now I'm I'm yeah, not going to out, yeah. of, out of yeah. fear for literally ruining their life. I was just kidding about Big T. Before they tell their parents, Brandon Walker has to get the news off his chest. I didn't know we were. I, mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding, brother. Big T loves you. He looks up to you like a father. He actually doesn't like me. He, you're his mentor. That's been an interesting dynamic between he and I because we're really the same person, just 20 years different. 
Yeah. I'd love to hear a list of his favorite ten people in the office, because I think that there it wouldn't he wouldn't get to five. I don't know that he'd get to three. No, who's on his list of three? Rico. They're best buds. Yeah. Yeah. Rico and Big Tr. They're politically aligned. I might be one. Yeah. You might be one. Yeah. Yeah. You I are. feel like you'd be a lot of people's one. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 I think it would. It's a curse. Clemmer, right? Oh, Clemmer's. What about Clemmer? Big T's one. Big T likes oh, Clemmer. Big T's one. Yeah, oh, who? Talking about Frank's. Oh. Uh, uh. Clemmer wouldn't be Frank's one. You don't think? Brother, I've been in the dojo, fucking doing. Own better be right, Frank's be one. Hey, Doug's would have to be. Doug's had to be up there. Doug's took a lot of time with Frank. Who do you think? You uh, seem to have a contentious vibe a lot of times. I don't know. Well, Doug's hates him, but I think right. Doug's does. Yeah. Yeah. Francis, do you have a ten? Do you have ten? Ten people he likes? He definitely does. Ten people I like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of us. I like everybody in this room a lot. I got ten people I hate. I like yeah. Stay a lot. <laughs> I hate list is bigger, yeah. Ani, I'm close with. I can get to seven, I think. Seven likes or seven hates? Seven likes. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's... We have a lot of I likes. I feel like Big T might like the fewest people in here. I think he... Do, he yeah. Yeah, that sounds... Oh, uh, TGA. Yeah. Oh, TGA's my boy. I love that, TGA. That guy TGA, Andrew. we fucking oh. smoke. Well, I mean, I Rico's probably got a small list, too. I don't know. Think it's grown? Yeah. Everyone, you guys made us vote for who's our least favorite member on the yak, and you all voted for me. Want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> it was Jesus. a fun day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, didn't I didn't vote for you, bro. I didn't vote for you either. <laughs> you, someone's lying. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't just, it, there was multiple votes. Such an insane thing. <laughs> it was so weird. And then it and like sparked was like, everybody. Is such a whiny Aren't little we trying to figure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it a. What am I, am I, I'm supposed to just not care about that? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that it, I spend every day with me like all you. came together and said, we like uh, you the least? I thought it was an indirect result. Weren't we trying to figure out who the second least liked person <laughs> yes. was? Yes, and then everyone went with it. And I voted for myself because I was like, well, I was like, no one's going to take this seriously. Yeah. <laughs> You got demolished in that competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah last week. Yeah, that was horrible. Wow. And then everybody online was all like, everyone online was like doing their list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nick number one, yeah. like tagging us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even a stool posted like a poll to yeah. vote on. <laughs> yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, yeah that was a rough uh, one. That was a rough day for me. Yeah. You haven't thought about it since. No. No, I actually I just remembered that happened. <laughs> well, I think about it a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> the day before his birthday. Oh my God! Yeah. Twenty one's been an awesome year, though. Viva yeah. Lestool will put out what's your least favorite sass moment for your birthday yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. A bracket. What's your dumbest sass moment? <laughs> Here's a compilation of sass's dumbest moments. He's isn't he so stupid? <laughs> they. they we they really want, they want me to be like the dumbest person on earth. We so rung in bad. this year having our first case race, I think, which like people just celebrated yeah. your birthday by calling you dumb. And then yeah. for this, I won't actually. Year. I didn't get it that bad on that one. It was the other ones that I got it bad. I didn't even really get it that bad on the last one. I mean, I did. If you look at the comments, <laughs> <laughs> it's like ten thousand comments. I'm the Joker. Baby. Yeah, that's all it was. I don't really remember the last case race too well. I thought it was What's the most I notable thing. Rowan threw a football at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, that's why I don't remember. James yeah. mad at me right now. Yeah? Why? Because on uh, on the weekend, I have a friend, a very uh, an old friend, whose name is Shane Gilroy. Yeah. And 80% of their name is the same. Yeah. Mm. And I texted, I was trying to text my buddy Shane Gilroy and his brother uh, that, you know, something. Uh, that had come up, and I texted the brother, and I texted Shane oh, Gillis right, right, in a group chat. And I, it was like a long message, and then a follow two messages left, and then Shane Gillis was like, "Dude, I don't think you meant to send this to me." Yeah, and I was like, "What?" And I clarify, I was like, "You don't understand what I'm I'm talking about." This guy, he's like, "Yo, this is Shane Gillis," and I was like, "LOL, sorry." And then. <laughs> I tried to send the message again to just 
Shane Gilroy yeah. and sent the whole thing again <laughs> to just Shane Gillis. And he goes, dude, stop texting me about this. And I go, what, man? I'm talking about, and I, I'm like, oh my God. Oh, that's tough. And then I asked him if he wanted to go to the Rangers game with me in a couple nights, and he just did, didn't oh. even respond. So I uh, I think I'm in I'm in the doghouse with him. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's, That's a funny. funny ass way to get you it. Have Shane G I L. Yeah. It's only three letters out of whatever, twelve, eight, thirteen that are that are not the same. Dude, that that feeling like gives me anxiety. Yeah. Like yeah. texting someone the wrong thing. Cause you cause you put in you you type in G I L yeah. and and then you see Shane and you're like there it is. That's the contact. It comes I up always live in hell. Yeah. That's like something you get. No, no, no. I'm talking <laughs> about like, like a nightmare. I'm talking about you. like, have you ever like sent someone a message like uh, that it wasn't supposed to go to them? I had someone here. Oh, if here. it's bad. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah. I had oh, someone yeah. here oh, text me. I've never me. done that. They thought they were texting their spouse about me. Oh. Complaining about me and they texted me by accident. This wasn't yeah. me, was it? No, it wasn't. Oh. Um, I would. R- <laughs> no. Being on either end is such a yeah. nightmare. No, I actually. I vent to my woman. I'm such like a I'm sorry person that I just felt bad that they had done that and when they realized it they were like oh my god I'm so it. sorry I was like don't even worry about it man I, it happened, like, I had I someone do that to me you. and they were and they apologized yeah. I just didn't reply yeah how bad was the shit them. talk yeah, what they say yeah it was like a paragraph <laughs> it was like oh yeah. whole paragraph about, I, about you I have so much self hatred I was like I totally get it hey no biggie oh that would uh, just don't worry it. yeah it was like yeah I couldn't write a paragraph of bad things it was a small paragraph. But it was they were annoyed at me about something, which I get. I couldn't. Uh, but uh, Damn. I, they meant to send it to. When them, I was right? yeah. tutoring, uh, a buddy of mine had hooked up with a girl, and I was, uh, while he was texting me about it, I was also having a conversation with the mother of a of a kid I was tutoring, and I replied to her, the mother. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Her body's a lot better than her face. Oh. Like, <gasps> all this ah, kind of that is so locker room bad. talk and she wrote yeah i don't think you meant that for me and then they never worked with me again Jeez. oh god i feel like i had she thinks she was talking had... about you or or you were talking about her no she knew that i hadn't meant to send that to her but it was so kind of lewd that uh it just I, they couldn't have me work with their daughter anymore yeah Ugh. when i when i was in like when i was in like ninth grade and me and my buddies all started like smoking weed i remember one of my my friends got like caught by his parents and he got grounded for like six months and it was like my best friend still and i was like well I, I, how am i gonna just not see him for six months and like explain it to my parents so i texted my friends and i was like if your parents ask like what happened let's just say like he got in like a fight with his sister or something and i sent it to my mom <laughs> she was on her way to pick me up from school and i got in the car and i grabbed her phone and i deleted it Oh, nice. oh man! I've never felt that. It was like the best feeling. Oh, yeah, that's man. amazing. Wow. It was my sister's birthday, and I was like, "Can I see your phone? I want to see if there's any pictures of me and my sister." And I grabbed Brilliant. it. Brilliant. Has a girl ever sent you a screenshot of you? What you text them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. I've gotten that. No, that's that's happened terrible. to you. Yeah, it's like the no. worst feeling, and it's, it's horrible. It's I think it's worse doing it to someone else than getting it done to you i feel like yeah i when that happened to me i was like at least i was on the receipt. like yeah. i almost felt yeah, like i would ha- i handle I that way bad. Bad. i was like that's okay i would rather get it than send it <laughs> yeah was that kid oh. uh the who got in trouble was that the kid that you yeah. did the sleepover yeah. at whose family fell into yeah, disrepair buddy, oh okay oh. tommy smokes recently did it uh, i can't give too many details and he had the worst recovery from it ever too his excuse <laughs> oh i what remember was it you told me about that what was it? I think his excuse was just like, <laughs> I forget. He's like, it was for like a tweet. I was going to screenshot a fake text. I don't know. I think I've done it and been oh, like, I, like I was just saying. fucking around. Like, uh, I think I've like tried to play it off like it was a joke. Like I've done it in like a group chat before. Dude, Julio has a yeah, great. I've been like, just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Julio has a bit about this where he did it and then he goes, sorry, I meant to put quotes around that. That's what somebody <laughs> just said about, yeah, that's yeah. what <laughs> about me to you or like to me about you. <laughs> that's fucked up. So that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Is, it's a good save. But what you did was incredible. Dude, it was like the I, I've never acted that fast. I've never yeah. had the I wouldn't have had the wherewithal at that age. No, dude, neither. it was like I sent it and my mom pulled into the parking lot. I was like, oh my fucking god, <laughs> and I like instantly got in the car. 
oh man it was a nightmare mm. the worst feeling as a teenager like when you know they know something you're that fucked. you've done yeah like oh. that oh my parents used to like lay me down and like flash lights in my eyes and be like why is there veins there <laughs> their blood vessels <laughs> yeah that's too much that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot yeah. your parents are psychos yeah they didn't like weed yeah. That's how. That's what your grandma home, like, was doing. I would come home like yeah. shit faced, and they'd be like laughing, and then I'd like smell like weed, and they'd be like, "You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're going. In the, you're going down the wrong path." <laughs> Can we spin this name wheel? Oh yeah. Yeah. Name Dad wheel. got mad when I didn't smell like weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pussy. You smell like pussy, pussy. <laughs> Where's the weed? Please no. <gasps> ice cream Holy wheel? Shit. Could it be my ice oh, cream? Is it, aren't all chays good? Uh, I think all chays are pretty good, but like they're not content. We just got to hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like no, go I, to the movies. Yeah. yeah. I sent uh, an update to TJ maybe two months ago. Yeah. So What's a new one? Know. It should be. Are they still all good? Because I like the good ones. I, yeah, I think it's like half and a half. I don't know if this is the uh, uh, sushi sake I, night, bowling I, night. I don't think this. It is already the, hit sushi sake night, and we just never did it, right? Um, we didn't no, do hibachi. Didn't uh, hibachi. Hibachi. Yeah, yeah we no. just didn't do it. Yeah, we needed a date for that. I have a person. Um, I could send out. A What's text box message. munching? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't remember. <laughs> this is not the updated list. Oh, don't we have to learn from your video? Oh yes. I have. Yeah, you have to do a tutorial. Give it to me. <laughs> no, that's certainly not it. That's what I want. It it's what I won at the Christmas swap. Everyone oh. got gifts, and I got Chase shared the video of box munching. You're not nearly that flexible enough. That was like, I guess what I won. That's what it came down to. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. guess we can go with this. Yeah. I can't find the. I you got a gift. How much was yours again? Five hundred. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> for so yeah, much last stuff. Place, last yeah. least favorite doesn't get a gift. <laughs> <laughs> to spend five hundred dollars on a gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the gift I got everyone was like it's the first thing that comes up. <laughs> yeah you were you're so lazy no I was at a Best yeah. Buy hey. oh, oh yeah $500 yeah. that'd be fun because oh, yeah. oh, yeah. it was on Google that was a you're a yeah. dickhead yeah. Yeah. you fucking dickhead <laughs> oh man <laughs> who doesn't love that when are we going bowling, bowling? Night. I don't know I'll, I'll send out a text about hibachi and also bowling we should go bowling after a case race that would be fun after a case fuck. race is a nightmare no way I had fun after the last yeah. tank race when we all went to shoot pool or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I pool. had a great time. I went and got something Societies. Well, that would prevent you from doing that. You'd have to go bowling now, which would be fun for you. It would be yeah, a good thing to look forward to, of course. Allie? Francis, you'd have to come. I would be honored. Because you were here when we, yes. Right. When we landed it on it. Are you a good or bad bowler? Oh, Obviously fine. good. Obviously, he's Obviously good at it. Like, what the rolls fuck 300, are you talking about? He put spin on it. Be surprised, people. Uh, uh, people bowling like you. is <laughs> bowling is a sport or is a thing, right? sport thing. activity. People are good at when they come from states that force them to be indoors a lot. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Minnesota. I have friends, a lot of friends from Wisconsin, and they they and their parents are bowling w w over one seventy every game. Hugh Weber is from Florida. Well. My boys all have scented balls back home now. Yeah. They got well, custom Floridians balls and they're scented. Yeah. Floridians do have to like be shaved. My, my one boy got yeah. tobacco. He got a tobacco ball. One boy's got a shaving cream ball. So your hands smell a little nice. Yeah. I, don't know where from. Huh. I would love to go bowling. I want to play a laser tag, too. Maresh is putting together a laser tag crawl. I would love to play laser tag. He's from Missouri. Oh, my God. You lied. I did. You lied. Yeah, I did. Why'd you make that up? Why'd you say Florida? I don't know. Just thought that was a warm state. You're a psycho. And Missouri does get kind of chilly. It does. Mm -hmm. it's windy. Missouri's not as warm as you. A lot of cobalt. Thinks too. it's warm. Out on the plains. I, th I used to think. I used it can to think be warm. Can south of. It can be warm. Hot Virginia in the summer, but it can be cool in the winter. Are patch good? Yeah. Right okay. in the middle. We did interrupt you going to get dessert. Uh, same time tomorrow. Why no. End? What's yeah. almost three o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. Does someone have the room after us or something like that? You yeah. got to go appease Kax. Why do I always have to be the guy that does it? The, the the bracket we're always we're done. The bracket we always, are done now. Thank you. Bracket always has the room booked at two thirty on Tuesdays. I always am, I'm just having a fun time chatting with my friends. We we're gonna go. Let's go back to the rally. Those are our real friends. Oh, could you end the show, please? So it's not me. Those, uh, those are our true friends over there. Hibachi on Friday. There, he's saying. 
Friday. Who's right, here on Friday? Same time tomorrow. Are you here Friday? I'm not here for another week and a half. You're leaving? Oh, no, no wonder you want to get out of here. Just get out. Get the hell out of here. No, this has nothing to do. On vacation mode. All right. All right. Show's over.